On this episode, I talk about the Sears crisis, net neutrality, and reversal of fortune. Hi, I'm Rob Onspock from Onspock Media, and welcome to episode 53 of what's trending on Facebook today. Before I share the trends, you know, today is Saturday. And, you know, when I was a kid, Saturdays meant cartoons. I mean, we would spend hours in front of the TV watching cartoons. You know, <clears throat> my favorite at the time, my favorite cartoon was Space Ghost. He's a pretty cool dude, you know, he had lasers out of his wrist and he could do all kinds of cool stuff. But, <clears throat> you know, that's what Saturdays were meant for. I mean, we would live, we would do whatever we had to do so that come Saturday morning, we could watch our cartoons. And we did this for years. You know, and, and it just, everybody did. Everybody my age would go through school. Just come Saturday morning, plop them in front of the TV and watch. It's just what we did. You know, but then as we got older, cartoons turned to videos on MTV, which was good. You know, kept us entertained. And, um, you know, it was... But now, you know, kids have access to everything. There is no Saturday morning cartoons. You know, if you want something, you pick up your mobile device and you dial it in. And now you have access to everything, everywhere. You know, it's just not the same. I think we need to bring back Saturday morning cartoons. Just my thoughts. Hey, <clears throat> have you got this book yet? This weekend only, 99 cents on Kindle. And, um, you know, yesterday when I told everybody about it, some of you went out and bought it and made the book number three bestseller as a Kindle on Amazon. Pretty cool, right? Well, why don't we take it to number one? Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your co-workers, just go outside and scream at your neighbor. Tell them to buy our guesting, insider secrets to profit from being a great podcasting guest, um, written by, well, it's down here, Heather Havenwood, and me, yeah, I co-authored this book, <clears throat> and <clears throat> a lot of great stuff to teach you how to be a great podcasting guest, all right, let's get in with the trends, and yeah, on with the trends, <clears throat> And if you were watching me yesterday, you noticed that <clears throat> I didn't have my uh, my uh, my trends pop up because I was having some technical difficulties. In fact, on yesterday yesterday yesterday's episode, I couldn't even say technical difficulties, and evidently today I can't say yesterday. Anyway, <clears throat> Sears is in big trouble. Apparently, again, Sears and Kmart, which is basically the same company, to close 45 more stores, two in Michigan, as retail crisis deepens. Yet another round of store closures are announced for long-struggling Sears Kmart. You know, I always wondered why Sears bought Kmart years ago, <clears throat> or Kmart bought Sears. I don't remember what the, the, the deal was, but... At the time, I know Kmart was going through bankruptcy. And, um, you know, Sears, just like my, you know, long ago Saturday morning cartoons, was the staple of department stores. That's where you went to get stuff. People say, hey, where'd you get those tools? Oh, I went to Sears. Where'd you get those work pants? Oh, I went to Sears. Where'd you get that appliance? I went to Sears. They don't say that anymore, you know? People don't go to Sears. Uh, Sears is just, it, it's its kind of like that nostalgic store. You go there because, oh, my parents went there or my grandparents went there. Sears started out, you know, as Sears Roebuck and Company, you know, before dirt was invented. And, you know, it was, it was a, that, that, that store you went to. Yeah, nobody cares now. 
And Kmart? Kmart should have gone south a long time ago. And every Kmart I've gone into is just dirty. It's just, it's horrible. I mean, Walmart and Target are now the stores to go to. Nobody shops at Kmart. Nobody shops at Sears. So I think it's just a matter of time before they're both gone. It's a shame. Yep. <clears throat> and then somebody will be talking about, oh, yeah, my day we went to Sears. Mm -hmm. What's with Sears, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Net neutrality is uh, <clears throat> being talked about again. Facebook and Google to FCC are saying don't monkey with net neutrality. Two online giants plan to participate in an online protest to protect the FCC's open Internet rules. Well, we need open Internet because once it's controlled by the FCC, it'll be like China because... China doesn't allow certain things to be shown. In fact, it's, I heard that a lot of people in China are actually getting a, um, what do they call them? I don't know, some type of router to route themselves out of the, the Chinese um, government so that they can see what else is out there in the real world. Yeah, what's going to happen? You know, too many government hands in the in the pockets. Alrighty, well, let's get into this uh, reversal of fortune. Apple is making Samsung rich. Hmm. Samsung may report higher operating profit than Apple this quarter, which would be a first. What you don't know is that Samsung provides the chips and some of the components to Apple products. Mm hmm and it's been going on for years in fact you know Apple has sued Samsung multiple times for copyright infringement for using you know parts that's supposed to be in Apple phones and devices and they're copying them into their own Samsung devices I don't understand the whole concept why would you pay a competitor to create parts for you that they're just going to copy and then you're going to sue them and even if you win you lose because they can say well we're not making parts for you anymore or they're going to jack up the price because they need to get the money back that they got sued for you know what people don't use your competitor as one of your vendors problem solved all right well on with the question of the day. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? You know, you saw mine with Space Ghost. I'd like to know what yours was. Comment below. I'd love to know your answer. Hey, if you like this episode, give me a like or more. Well, you can only like it once, but give me a comment. Tell me what your answer was to the question. Share it with your friends. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow on episode 54.